everybody, so today I'm doing a stationery haul which I am so excited about. This is the first video of my back to school videos that I'm going to be doing. I'm only going to be doing like three or four. Well actually, maybe some more. But this is the first one and I'm really excited. I actually have stuff left over from last year because I've been a sixth form for one year. So this is my final year, this is A2. So I've already got stuff, but then this morning I went out and bought some new stuff. So I'm gonna first of all show you the new stuff. Now this video is kind of like a haul, but it's also kind of what you need for sixth form. I've been there for a year, so I know um, what you need. I can give advice on like how many folders and stuff like that for the first year um, and all that kind of thing. So let's get into the video. So first of all, I went to Tesco and bought a few things. You can go wherever you want to buy stuff. And this is sort of like the stuff that I'm just sort of stocking up on. Um, the first one is a pencil case. Now this is actually a clear pencil case, but with some paper inside of it. And I would highly recommend that you get a clear pencil case because A, this was a pound, so really cheap. And B, you can see your stationery in it. And C, when you go into an exam, you have to have a clear pencil case so that you can kind of see what you've got in it, make sure there's no notes in there or anything. Um, so yeah, but basically you might as well and it's super cheap. So yeah, I got myself one of these. I also picked up some coloured pens and these were like... I don't know, £1.50 for all of these. Look at that, how many you get, you get so many. And coloured pens are really, really handy because I like to answer questions or in one colour and then mark my answers in another colour. And I also like to make notes in different colours. I don't know, I just like the fact of having a different colour. It just makes it more exciting and they were really cheap. The next thing I got was post-it notes. Last year I didn't have any post-it notes, so I thought that maybe this year I should get some because I'm gonna need them for exams and you can kind of just pop them in your books, you know, for each page, write keywords on them, anything like that. They're just really handy and they were like one pound something as well. All of this stuff was kind of reduced um, because I kind of thought I'd pick my stationery up a little bit later than everybody else because you get it cheaper. The next one I am really excited about, and this is a sticky note weekly and monthly planner. I absolutely love planning. I love organizing, writing lists, sorting my life out. I feel very complete when I've organized my day. And these were like, this was three pounds and you get so many little pages. So this would last me like years, to be honest with you. Um, and this is a whole month on here and there's a little square for each day. And I don't know what I'll write on it, but probably like what kind of subjects I'll revise for that day or what homework needs to be in that kind of thing. It's handy for anything really. So I thought I'd pick that up. I then got this book here, which is just a plain, simple notepad. And you kind of need notepads um, because obviously you're gonna have to make notes and stuff. But in some of my subjects, they actually give you books. Um, in biology, they give me a book. Um, that's just because that's what they do. It's not necessarily what every school will do. Um, so I don't need to buy one for biology, but then for chemistry, they don't. So I bought this for anything really, just any subject. And then what I can do is pull out the bits of paper that I've used and staple the subject papers together. Basically, I'm waffling on and I don't need to. And finally, I bought a ruler because last year I had a ruler and it bent in half and split. So I got this and this was like 35p and it's just a simple ruler. You don't need to get anything expensive when it's something like that. You know, if it breaks, you buy another one. And if it breaks, what the hell are you doing with it? Says me who broke her ruler last year. So the next bits and pieces are actually the things that I have um, still got from last year. I did actually do a stationery haul last year, which is very, very popular on my channel. It's got over 5,000 views now. So the next thing is a calculator, and this is just a plain, normal calculator that everyone has because it's got everything on it that you need. Um, I would highly recommend buying this one and just going for this one. Don't like get anything else because you're just gonna get confused in the lessons. If you've got something else, especially if you're doing statistics in maths, um, you, you know, you need to have whatever everybody else has because otherwise you're gonna get confused because it's gonna have different modes and everything like that. It's just confusing to so get this. You also need calculators in subjects like, Oh, I've got a 
information. Um, you also need um, calculators in subjects like biology, chemistry, so you might as well just get one anyway, um, unless you've already got one. Next up, a glue stick. This is left over from last year. You don't, well, I don't use glue sticks that much, but I also do use glue sticks. Like you don't use that much glue really, you know, well, not gluing everything together, but I do use it fairly, you know, you get given sheets of paper and it needs to be stuck somewhere. So next one is pens. Last year I bought two whole um, bagfuls of these pens and these are just plain simple ball pens from Tesco's. Very, very cheap. Obviously, if you're the kind of person that likes kind of to buy quality pens or something that feels a little bit nicer to use, then you can buy something better. But yeah, these have lasted me ages and I still have six left over so yeah still got six pens left over and when i run out of those pens and i'll just nip up to tesco's and buy some more i don't need to stock ahead next up is this teeny weeny little tiny stapler um this is a tiny little stapler you don't need anything huge this staples enough for me um and I've still got a few staples in there. Um, I just got this from Tesco's. I swear to God, this was like £1.50 or something like that. And literally, you will not know how handy a stapler is. It is so handy. It's like unreal. I just like, if I make notes on a topic, I will staple all of my notes together just because, you know, you've got the topic notes together. You've not got things flying everywhere. The next one I'm going to show you is my actual pencil case. So this is my pencil case from last year. There is holes in it. Pens can just come out wherever they want to. Um, these clear pencil cases aren't the best quality, but you know, it's lasted me the year, you know, I'm cool with that. Um, so basically in here, we've just got like blue pens, black pens, just normal writing pens. We've got some highlighters, which I'm gonna take out and use them as well, because I, you know, they're still working, so I might as well carry them on. I've got colored pencils, which I accidentally stole from a classroom, um, which I do need to give back, because I don't need colored pencils. I accidentally just left them in my pencil case. Um, so I will give them back. I've got my broken ruler. I've got my rubber, which I'm just gonna keep um, for next year, because it works fine, and my pencil sharpener. So this is my pencil case and that's basically all I've had in it this year. It's quite a lot of stuff in it really, um, but yeah. Now I have another pencil case, which has got backup supplies in it. This is brand new stuff in it, but from last year. So this is sort of like backup supplies of pens and pencils. Now the pens in here are colored pens. So I know I just bought some um, brand new colored pens, but um, they are different and they write differently. And these ones, like this yellow one here, you can't see it. So, you know, and the orange one as well. So I just thought I'd get loads of colored pens because also I've got a coloring book for adults, which I love. So I'm gonna be using those. But yeah, backup supplies of pencils and things. It's always good to have backup and highlighters. Also, I would recommend getting some whiteboard pens and a whiteboard. I have had a whiteboard throughout the whole of my GCSEs and my A-levels because I just, rely on a whiteboard for revision. I need I need that whiteboard. I honestly get so, through so many whiteboard pens, it's not even real. Got another notification. Oh, somebody commented on my um, sketchbook video just now saying, oh, gee, you're so good. That's my art sketchbook, I, I'm not. The next one is a daily journal. I mentioned this in my August favorites, which was a couple of days ago. So if you wanna go and check that out, then do it. This is my essential life planner. I think when you go to sixth form, getting your life sorted and planned out on a little book piece of paper is essential. It really is for me anyway. I plan out what I'm wearing that day. I plan out what I'm eating that day. I, I, this is weird. I plan out um, what revision I'm gonna be doing and what stuff I need to take with me to school, just so that in the morning I'm chill and I, I'm fine with it all and I'm done and I'm ready and I can go. The next thing I got, I got last year and I haven't actually used it because I bought three of these, one for each subject and I only ended up using one of them because there's so many bits of paper in it. But what you get in here is, oh, you get a ruler. Oh, that's cute. Didn't realize that, didn't need to buy a ruler. But yeah, you get a ruler in it, you get um, like little dividers in it. So I suppose I could have 
um, each subject a little section and then at the end of each section you can put stuff in like these little bits here which is obviously really cool um, but this is just something where I can put any notes in it I could even use it as a YouTube video planner and um, because at school in my free periods I either do my homework revision or plan videos for YouTube so this could be for that whatever you want just as long as you're organizing your life it's something good the final two things were a bit boring but we've got these little things here um that what they're called well, what are they called paper no plastic wallet plastic wallets and um, for you to put these in these are literally what i rely on needing when i go to six one um because you just have so many free little bits of paper especially if you're making notes especially if you are like getting given sheets all the time pop them in here then you can file them away in your folder and that brings me on to folders so for folders particularly for maths if you're doing maths you're going to need lever arch folders which means they need to look like this where they've got the little thing here and just yeah um because they need to be really big and sturdy now i would recommend if you're doing three subjects then get three big lever arch folders plus another one so that's four i can do it i just sound like an idiot now <laughs> Three plus one is four. Um, yeah, get four leaf arch folders if you're doing three subjects. Obviously, if you're doing four, then get five. This is just my personal recommendation. The three that you get, leave them at home. This is me recommending. It's different for everyone. Leave them at home and take one folder to school. For your one folder, put three dividers into it so you can have three sections for each subject. And then every day or say at the end of each subject topic, so, you know, after a couple of weeks, you'll finish your topic in biology or whatever your subject you're doing. Um, you then take that out and you put it into your folder at home, which is your biology folder. And then you can go back into school with a folder. So basically it means that you only need to take one folder to school and then when you've, you're have you done with the papers in here, you can then file it away in the folders you've left at home. I hope that makes sense. That's what I do and I would recommend doing that because it's just so, so much better than um, taking in five folders. I'm just not that kind of person. Like if you are comfortable with taking five folders in or four folders in, then you can do that. I'm just not, okay? So that's what I would recommend. So I think that's everything for my stationery haul. I am gonna be doing some more back to school videos, so please subscribe. And that includes a makeup look like this one here, like my back to school <laughs> makeup look. Um, but yeah, please do subscribe. I am gonna be doing some revision videos sort of after Christmas maybe, um, because you know, I'm gonna be revising because so I'm gonna do some revision videos and they are my most popular. So stay subscribed for that and I will see you in my next video.